Now, the chaos has left thousands of homes and landmarks in Central African Republic at risk of looting or destruction. Cameroonian Samuel Fosso is one of Africa's foremost photographers and had his house in Bongi ransacked earlier this month. Luckily, all was not lost, as Nicolas Chemin found out. This house in Bangui belongs to one of Africa's most important living photographers, Samuel Fosso. Earlier this month, it was ransacked. We meet Fosso in Paris. He fled here a few days before his home was looted. They only left what they didn't understand, like my photographs, my negatives. It wasn't important for them. Fortunately, photojournalist Jérôme Delay was in Bangui covering the violence. He recognized the photos and negatives lying in front of a house, and with Human Rights Watch, he collected them and gave them this week to Fosso. The children that day apparently said, look, a white man is looting. Fosso has only just got the pictures back. He has ambivalent feelings. I'm happy to get them back. But at the same time, I'm sad because some are damaged, even burnt. But that's part of my story now. Fosso broke into the art world at the Biennial Exhibition in Bamako in 1994. His self-portraits are now worth thousands of euros and can be seen at the Centre Pompidou or the MoMA in New York. His agent, Jean-Marc Patras, remains optimistic despite the chaos in the Central African Republic. I'm convinced that Samuel's work will still be celebrated once we're dead. After these recent events, Samuel is not just an artist, but also a public figure. He acts as a conscience for our time. Fosso is also hopeful. He's a Christian who lives in the heart of Miskin, a Muslim neighborhood in Bangui. I hope it will still be possible for Christians and Muslims to live together in harmony again. That is my wish. Samuel Fosso now hopes to return to Bangui as soon as possible to continue his self-portraits in a more serene atmosphere.